Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do a glowing effect on Procreate Dreams. You can apply this on anything um, person. I'm just gonna personally show you how I did it on the mushrooms. Okay, so as you can see, this is my mushroom. And I have like specs, like colored light specs on its own track. Uh, that's where you see the glowing dots are. We're gonna start off by moving the head of the mushroom um, using the wrapping tool. So just go down to the head part. This is the head part. And just click on the performance tool and the wrapping tool. If you guys watched my previous video on how to do hair animations, this is essentially the same thing. So just use the wrapping tool, just carefully perform the movement. I'm gonna do it on the right side first and in the left. Uh, so like I said on the previous video, the more times you use the performance tool, on uh, the more realistic it will look. So I'm gonna speed this through and you can just see that I'm just carefully moving the mushroom head. So the next thing you wanna do is go into one of the light specs. I'm gonna choose this one. So I'm gonna make it move around like it's like a firefly. So I'm just gonna carefully do like a S symbol all over the mushroom, just like a wavy motion. And I should have done this earlier, but it's a lot easier if you have the spec N on the starting point. That way you can just copy and paste it and extend the track or extend the group if you wanted to. That way it'll be playing in a loop. But I didn't do it for this tutorial, so just to keep that in mind. So I'm gonna do it on each spec. So just have it move in its own direction. And I'll show you guys how to do the glowing effect afterwards. Okay, so once you're done with your movements, you wanna go down to the tracks that you already worked on and you wanna group the tracks together. That way uh, you can copy and paste it. So you can just copy this and just duplicate it right below. So the reason why we wanna have a duplicate right below the, the painting is because the duplicate behind the painting is gonna be the glowing effect. It's gonna, we're gonna use the Gaussian blur just to make it like blurry in the background. That's gonna give the glowing effect. Um, so you gotta be careful when you copy and paste it because sometimes it doesn't line up with the timeline. Um, so I gotta do it again. So I gotta make sure the, the second track adds up with the main track. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Gaussian Blur and you can see that there's some blur going on. It's not completely lined up, but yeah, you can see the glowing effect on that. You can always add the glowing effect before you do the performance tool and that's probably a lot easier. That way it'll line up. So after you're done with the movements within the mushroom, you're gonna go back to the grouping setting and copy and paste the entire group again and place it right underneath the mushroom. And then you're gonna use the same method, use a Gaussian blur. And you can see the entire mushroom is glowing now. So this is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other last two specs underneath the mushroom. I'm gonna have this group under the head. That way it will show kind of depth within the mushroom. So this is the final result guys. You can always copy and paste the group and just change the color on it. The ones in the back, I changed the size just to add variety. Um, so yeah, this entire um, mushroom is a group, so I just grouped it together. So I can just copy and paste it on any background that I'm working on. So this is very convenient. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the waving lights in the back. I think this is like a really cool lighting effect. Um, so you can do it on any scene you want to. You can do it for parties, you can do it for like a forest scene like this. Okay, so for this next step, you're gonna be using Procreate. I just personally like using Procreate Drawing App a lot better than Procreate Dreams because there's more tools you can use on the Procreate. Uh, so you're gonna draw like a shape like this. So right now I'm, I'm just lowering the opacity on the bigger shapes only because I want it to make it look like the light source is a lot brighter than where it's projecting. Um, so you're just gonna do this for each shape Okay, so for the next step, you can just use the motion blur or the Gaussian blur. And as you can see, it's giving this kind of glow effect uh, that you can later import into Procreate Dreams. And I'll be showing you how to move it as well. 
So this looks pretty good. So next step is to open up your Procreate Dreams side by side with your um, Procreate app and just import it by dragging it into the Procreate Dreams app. And I'm gonna show you guys how to move it now. So use the edit anchor and move it to the lowest point of the light because that's where it's gonna be anchored at. And then um, use the performance tool and just move the lights back and forth. So you're gonna apply this for other things too, like magic effects or superpowers effects. Um, so if you guys haven't already watched my tutorial on superpowers, um, check it out. It's, it's on my channel. It's just very eye-catching when you have glow effects on your animation. It just brings it out. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help up my content a lot. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.